folks, Rich here at RC Informer. Today I have just an incredible airplane to show you. This is a new plane coming from Banana Hobby. Uh, it's a new company called HSD, and this is their all new Super Viper. Um, it, it's kind of hard to believe that we've come to this level of, uh, of, of foam EDF models, and it really almost rivals turbine airplanes now. You're looking at a 1500, mil 1500 millimeter uh, wingspan, 67 inch uh, length, or, or 1600 millimeter length which gives you about um, uh, 65 inches of length and uh, wingspan is 59 inches. So it's simply just a huge EPO model. Um, the finish on it is tremendous. It's nice and smooth. They're using, it looks like almost like a new process to, to make the foam nice and smooth, but it's almost hard to tell it's even an EPO model. Uh, best of all is it's receiver ready and it's, uh, it's completely glueless. So uh, with, uh, I believe it's 16 screws uh, four for the, the wings bolt in with a spar, the tails each side goes in with four screws and the rudder goes in uh, with two screws on each side. Uh, the airplane is together and ready to go. All your linkages are already on there, all ball links all the way around um, and, uh, and all you need to do is add your receiver and your battery from there and you're out flying this thing. So uh, again, no glue. Even the stall fences, the vortex generators here, they just slide right on. There's really no need to, uh, to glue those in place. Um, now, now driving this thing through the air, it has a huge 105 millimeter EDF uh, uh, fan in there with 1100 kV uh, brushless outrunner and a uh, 120 amp ESC. And this is all stock that you're gonna see today flying. And this thing runs on eight cells. There's a six and an eight cell version and I'm gonna be showing you the uh, the eight cell version here flying today. Um, separate BEC on board to drive all the servos that are in the airplane. There's nine servos that are pre-mounted and installed in this. They're all dual ball bearing. They're all metal gear and digital servos. So it's a very impressive package that comes, comes stock. There's really no real need to upgrade anything on this airplane. Now, uh, first thing I'm gonna show you is inside the cockpit, guys. There's a beautiful canopy here with a latch here. All this stuff fits. It's all a precision fit from the factory, wings, cockpit, and everything. And uh, you can see the detail in here. The, uh, the, the seats actually do pull out and remove from the underside, so you can put pilots in there uh, if you want to. But, uh, but very nice moldings and fittings and everything uh, that, uh, that, again, this whole plane just really plugs together nicely. Now, uh, a couple features I want to show you inside. I'm going to actually plug this in, turn it on, and, uh, and, and, and show it to everybody here. Um, what this plane actually comes with is these new connectors. Uh, Ron's going to kind of zoom in on these. Uh, these are called AN150s, and uh, what they have is a spark arrestor inside them already. So even though I have eight cells in here, typically you're used to making your last connection uh, and you get a spark, but you don't get them with these connectors anymore. So I'll go ahead and plug this right in, and you can see it's whisper quiet as it goes together without any sparking at all. Now I'm going to lift this up, and Ron's going to get a good look inside here, and I'm going to show you how this thing um, uh, 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 goes together. Now, um, one caveat or one thing that I, I, I didn't mention uh, was that uh, the fuselage actually comes in two parts. And uh, you have the front and the rear half here that, that actually uh, connect here with just four, four screws, four bolts. And, uh, and I'll, be, uh, I'll be showing you that in the, 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 that in the build guide, how this whole thing all goes together. Now, as we look inside here, you can see I have two four cell packs that are uh, wired together in, uh, in series, uh, and that gives you the, uh, the eight cells uh, that you need. Now back into here, uh, I'm gonna try and get this lined up so Ron can see it well. Um, there's a, a, a separate board in there, and that's a mixer board. There's also a landing gear control module back in there. And uh, those do a lot of things for you. You can see my receiver bolted to the side, uh, or just Velcroed to the side, and I have my antennas just taped to the inside of the fuselage. But that mixer board uh, actually gives you some uh, uh, settings in there on a button that you can uh, set up some elevator to throttle mixing and there's several different uh, stages that you can uh, set that on and I'll show you that in the uh, setup guide for this airplane so be sure to check that out. Uh, also the landing gear control module back there you can see um, there's a reset button on there in case your landing gear gets uh, stuck uh, and it stops moving. It has a protection feature that sometimes shuts it down there's a button there that will reset it and get your gear moving again. You can also see the BEC on the back wall there. You can see the main spar running through there. But you can see there's lots of room inside this airplane. There's plenty of space uh, to put all kinds of things in there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, canopy right back on. It tongue grooves in the front and it uh, latches really, uh, really nicely there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flip the airplane upside down 
and give you a look at the landing gear and the underside of this airplane. Uh, it's really, really impressive. In fact, I'm going to have Ron zoom in real quick on the wingtip area to take a close look at those, uh, those ball links there. And uh, you can see how nicely those linkages are, all metal ball links, uh, nice thick uh, push rods there. And again, this comes from the factory like this. You don't need to install uh, any of those linkages. They already just come pre-installed pre on the airplane. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this down here, or right in front of me here, so Ron can zoom in here, so it on all the landing gear here. All aluminum struts, really nice suspension. Um, uh, all the way around, aluminum hubs and everything. And uh, again, fully retractable gear, which I'll go ahead and put that up for you here. And you can see there's a sequencing uh, nose gear as well. Nice and slow. It's, uh, it really doesn't get too much uh, better than this. It's just some really sweet landing gear. Now, another thing I want Ron to zoom in on here too, I'm gonna show you guys is the, uh, the flap hinges here. You can see how nice those, uh, those plastic hinges are with steel pins in them. Uh, it's some very, very impressive uh, 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 hinges that they uh, designed into this. There are all nylon hinges all the way around in this thing. I'll go ahead and extend the landing gear for you here and we'll put this thing back down on the ground. It's starting to break my arm, it's so heavy here. All right, just really impressive. Now you can also see underneath all the louvers here. Uh, the, the, the fan gets its, its, its uh, air um, from the intakes and from the louver underneath. And they did a really nice job. Uh, I'm gonna try and focus, let Ron take a look at this. Underneath here, you can see they put the speed controller right there in the free stream of air, so it gets plenty of cooling uh, on that ESC. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and flip it here, put it on the ground so you guys can see the back end of this thing. Now, it's important to note that uh, uh, it's a basic six-channel airplane, guys. Ailerons, elevator, rudder nose wheel steering you've got flaps uh, which are actually submerged they kind of they they uh they fit right into the uh the submerged end of the wing there uh and then the retractable landing gear so six channels but there's actually two more functions you can put into this there also is thrust reverse okay that you can actually uh, program in with your uh, uh esc programming card and you can attach it to a switch so you can reverse the direction of the fan and get reverse thrust um, and also, uh, if you want to separate your nose wheel steering, um, you can actually put that on another channel. So you would need an eighth channel for that. So again, basically it's a six, uh, basically it's a, uh, a, 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 a six channel airplane. You can go seven channels if you want to um, uh, uh, hook up the reverse thrust. You can go eight channels if you want to separate your uh, nose wheel steering from your rudder so you can have separate trim. They'll move together, but you'll have a uh, separate trim on that. Uh, anyway, guys, as you can see, it's a nice, big, impressive uh, uh, EDF jet model. Um, uh, why don't we go ahead and get it out to the field now, guys, and we'll give you a flight demo of the HSD Super Viper from Banana Hobby. Transporting the Super Viper is extremely simple. Even though it is a large airplane, you can see here that uh, the wings and all the tail surfaces uh, easily removed from the airplane with just screws. Four, wing, four screws will mount your wings four screws will mount your uh, two tail halves, and even four screws to uh, mount uh, uh, your rudder. Uh, as you can see here, it's just an extremely simple setup. Before we get out to the flying field, I just wanted to show everybody how easy this airplane is uh, to assemble. You can see right here the wing root actually has six male bullets that actually connect your uh, gear, your flaps, uh, and your, uh, your ailerons. And also on the, uh, on the wing side, there's uh, female connectors. And these whole, these literally just uh, uh, put the in, put the uh, entire airplane together uh, very simply here, as I'm going to demonstrate. You can see I have the aluminum spar mount in here, which I really keep just inside the fuselage uh, for storage. And uh, assembling the wing, putting the wing on, is really just this simple. Uh, all you have to do really is just slide your wing right on this tube. It goes right into place, and all of your connections are made in one shot. The wing now really just needs to have two screws, one here and one here put on, and, uh, and, and the wing is in fully installed and ready to go fly. Even the tail surfaces are super simple to attach. You can see here, uh, even the rudder just has a single uh, uh, servo lead. Uh, so does each elevator half. And really all you need to do is just uh, plug in your uh, servo lead, uh, just push the connector into the, uh, the slot, and then you just mount your elevator uh, right on your spar and you have two screws that actually come up through the bottom to secure that in place. So you can see really 12 screws put this entire airplane together 
and uh, you're ready to put your uh, battery in and go fly. All right, guys, taxing the uh, Super Viper out real easy. Go ahead and put a setting of flaps in here. Uh, this airplane is really nice and uh, stable taxiing out. If you set up your uh, steering uh, servo on a separate channel uh, with a knob, you can trim it out nicely for taxiing. But you can see how rock solid this airplane is uh, taxiing out. I'll get it lined up on the uh, runway here. And uh, we'll go ahead and take off, show you how smooth of an airplane this is. All right, here we go. Taking off. Flying full throttle. Smoothly pulling back on the stick. Flaps and gear coming up. Back off on the power just a little bit to conserve the battery a little bit. Let that gear come up. It's real aerobatic, real nice smooth airplane. Bring it down the runway here for a fast pass. Full throttle. Probably does about 80, 90, maybe even 100 miles an hour possibly. But it's a real smooth airplane. Just a fun, very smooth jet to fly. Really only intermediate skill required for this thing. I'll give you an inverted pass here, guys. Nice and smooth. I'll go ahead and push it out. This plane handles inverted really in all fashions really quite nice. You can see how good it is inverted. All right, we'll see if we can give you a knife edge here. Left to right here, full throttle. Put it into a knife. Full rudder. And that holds it in a knife pretty good. All right. Give you some steep turns out front. Just a real nice smooth flying jet. Again, really intermediate to advanced, real easy to fly airplane. Down into the valley a little bit here. Nice flying airplane, guys. Bring it down the uh, center line here, the runway again. Full throttle. Pitching straight up. This A-S does handle that pretty well. And the nose, you can see, falls nicely. And it comes right on down. Power's off. Bringing the power back in. All right. Give you sort of a presentation pass out front. We'll take a look at the top side of the plane. Just a smooth jet. Fantastic. Roll it around again, inverted. 325. All right. Just a nice flying plane. We'll go ahead and get the landing gear down, flaps in. You get about three minutes of flight time on the airplane. So uh, you just have to sort of use your power sparingly. But you can see it just really floats right on in. I'm at about half throttle now. Bringing it back to idle. This thing will go and just float and float and float forever. I'm at idle now, just let it come in. There we go, bounce it right in. You can see that suspension landing gear works great. I'll go ahead and throw it in reverse. That does help slow it down a bit. But it's not super, super effective. So, But uh, anyway, guys, the uh, HSD Super Viper here from Banana Hobby. It's a really sweet airplane. Flies great, very smooth, very easy to fly. You don't need to be ace of the base to, uh, to handle this thing. It's just a really nice flying airplane. Real impressed with this thing. I'll go ahead and taxi it around a little bit here for you. All right, guys, the uh, HSD Super Viper from Banana Hobby. One sweet airplane, guys. It really is just a nice airplane, handles well. This 8S version has plenty of power. All right, guys, that concludes this video on the uh, HSD Super Viper from uh, Banana Hobby. Uh, as you can see from the flight demo, it's just, it's just an awesome flying airplane. It'll fly nice and fast. It'll slow down to a crawl so you can land it nicely. If you need the reverse thrust, which is not real necessary on this plane, you can use it. 
Um, uh, it, uh, it does beautiful loops, nice round rolls, um, um, uh, uh, flies inverted nicely. Uh, it's just overall impressive airplane. You don't need to be ace of the base to fly it. You're probably about an intermediate airplane uh, for uh, you know, really almost anybody who wants to get into a nice sized jet and have fun flying it. Uh, man, this is the way to go, real impressive. Uh, again, look for this thing coming from Banana Hobby soon. Uh, thanks for checking out RC Informer, guys. And as always, we'll see you next time.